Sometimes teachers will ask, how many ions do you have in a compound? For example, we have ammonium carbonate here. So how many ions are in this compound ammonium carbonate? To really understand that, you have to know your polyatomic ions. For example, CO3, that has a two minus charge. This is called the carbonate ion. And NH4, that's NH4 plus, that's the ammonium ion. So you either memorize your ions, or if you're allowed, you look them up. So we know that we have two ammonium ions for every one carbonate ion in ammonium carbonate. And if we put this in water, this is soluble, it'll dissolve and we'll end up with, and these would be aqueous since they were dissolved in water. So we have two ammonium ions for every carbonate ion. What if you were told you had one mole of ammonium carbonate? How many moles of ammonium ions would you have? One mole of this whole compound means you'll have two moles of the ammonium ion, but you'll only have one mole of the carbonate ion. What if you're given something like 0.43 moles? So if I'm given 0.43 of the whole compound, I know within that compound I have twice as many ammonium ions. So twice of this number here, 0.86 moles. But since I only have one carbonate ion, this number would be the same, 0.43 moles of the carbonate ion in this 0.43 moles of the entire compound. This is Dr. B looking at the number of ions in NH42CO3, ammonium carbonate. Thanks for watching.